You wanted to see me? Pretty sure the label is straight. Are you really gonna leave? Where are you going? You lined up interviews yet? I'm not sure. You're pissed at house. I get it. You're symbolicating killing him. Symbolicating? What? Symbolicalating. Gosh, that's a hard word. Are you okay? Hey, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Sim I'm not the one pretending to kill someone. What would it take for you to stay? Is it money? He wants you to stay. He said that? If I said he said that, would that make a difference? Are you sure you're okay? Nope. Oh, I'm leaving now. Uh, I'm late for a breast thing. You know he wants you. You know he's good. You know he can make you good. I don't know what I'm saying. You don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying. And you know I'm right. I gotta go. Sorry, it took me so long to get down here. I'm Dr. Wilson. I guess Dr. Stein's gone. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to him when we're done. Dr. Stein said they're probably calcium deposits. Well, with your medical history, you don't want to take any chances. I can't seem to put on my gloves today. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. One's enough. Well, let's have a look. You sure talk fast. This is nothing. You just see me when we're busy. I just winked at you. I just, I've never winked at a patient in my life. I have no idea, I am so sorry. I have no idea what I was thinking. It's okay. No, it's not, I was hitting on you. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't consciously hitting on you, but I, but you, I mean, what else could you think? That you were being reassuring? Yeah, that would make sense. On the other hand, I, I feel like my heart's gonna explode. Are you okay? I feel a little sweaty, am I, am I sweating? Yeah. Is something wrong? I can't, I can't. I put on gloves to do a breast exam, perfect. One eighty five. One eighty five. One eighty five. Excuse me, I have to go kill someone. You dosed me. Yes, I did, but only because you didn't trust me. Your best friend. You could have killed me. Fetamines are gonna kill you. You don't know my medical history. I, I, I could have. You could have given me a heart attack. A heart attack is not gonna kill you. You were in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Aha! You yawned. Uh huh. You tried to kill me. I put you on uppers and you still yawned. It means it's a symptom of being a big fat liar. Yawning is a side effect of some antidepressants, apparently the ones you're on. I'm not on antidepressants, I'm on speed. Well, that means it's a symptom of a cerebral tumor. You got six weeks to live. Mr. Well-Adjusted is as messed up as the rest of us. Well, why would you keep that a secret? Are you ashamed of recognizing how pathetic your life is? It's not a secret. House, it's, it's... It's personal. How long has it been personal? It's personal. Yawning's recent, so either you just started or you changed prescription. This is why I take them. They're antidepressants, not anti-annoyances. You'd think this would naturally come up in conversation oh, with- Oh, don't act hurt. You don't care. On one of those occasions when you're pompously lecturing me on what to do to fix my life. You wouldn't take them. You'd rather OD on Vicodin or stick electrodes in your head because you could say you did it to get high. The only reason to take antidepressants is because you're depressed. You, you have to admit that you're depressed. Give me. Are you going to admit that- Nope. I'm going to prove that I'm not depressed. <laughs> Well, I can't give you my prescription. You've got to meet with a psychiatrist. You, you need a whole workup. Give me a Vicodin so I don't stroke. I wouldn't drink that. I like her and I 